so good morning. It's Sunday, it's the 8th of May, and I'm just running past King's Pond. Less than a week to go before my race. Hi. I'm running on the famous ship trail around the Cedar Hill Golf Course. Hi. I'm planning to run for exactly one hour and I'm planning to record for exactly 48 minutes 44 seconds ahead I think I can afford to hike this hill. I have had a very, very stressful week, basically. Mavis has been quite sick and is still quite sick. As you may or may not know, I have been her principal caregiver. Hi. On a daily basis. Helping her with her morning routine. She's Time, 13 minutes, 19 seconds. Distance, 2 kilometers. Workout average pace, 6 minutes, 38 seconds per kilometer. Alright, 2K. I'm still ahead. I should be at 14 minutes at a 2, at a 7 minute pace for 2K. So, I will take these walk breaks just because I'm in taper mode. Oh, this is the top of the hill. Yes, well, her uh, medical history runs as follows. Four weeks ago, she injured her foot, her leg just below the knee, when she opened a car door and got cut by the sharp corner of the door. Hello. Thank you. She went in and had her wound dressed and was sent home without much further ado. Unfortunately, or fortunately, as the case might be, the doctor in the emergency decided that she did not need antibiotics. So she came home to her seniors' residence. Hello. Hi. About a week after that, her leg 
really swelled up and she went back and got a prescription for antibiotics so the infection died down and she came back to her seniors residence then she did the whole course of antibiotics and came down with a stomach virus which has since incapacitated nine residents at her place which is kind of alarming so after a few days of the residents complaining of stomach issues they stopped serving meals in the dining room and confined everybody to quarters so I'm still going in every day to help her get ready for the day get her shoes and socks on hello and uh, about a week ago she had another gastric episode which sent her back to hospital then she came back and uh, now we're up to as I say week five of Mavis's leg week two of her gastric issues so I'm having to deal with all this business of having to clean her apartment and launder all her bedding and clothing anyway hello all with the knowledge that tomorrow Norma flies to Cuba for three weeks she has been less able to help me with Mavis because she is very concerned about catching any communicable gastric issues from her mother Meanwhile, three days ago, I came down with the gastric issues. So I have been off my food for a while now. Time, 19 minutes, 38 seconds. Distance, 3 kilometers. Workout average pace, 6 minutes, 32 seconds per kilometer. Still a little fast. So I will walk past the decorated tree Hello This will be an out and back run even though I'm running basically a loop of the golf course But I will turn when the run keeper lady, the ice smooth run lady, tells me to turn. I have 12 minute reminders. Four twelves of 48. This is how I will know when I have reached 
my recording limit for today's episode. I will shut up for a little while and let you hear the sound of traffic. not my porridge. I have not eaten today. I will try and eat something when I get back. So, 412 to 48, 512 to 60. So I skipped the first 12 minutes of this run. So when it tells me that my workout is completed, I will press stop on my Sony voice recorder. Hello. I'm just hoping that my relative youth and reasonable good health will get me over this stomach bug before Saturday. Otherwise, I will not run. This is the last big hill on this side of the loop. It should even itself out because I will have to hike up the million dollar view hill when I do. One minute, 37 seconds. Ahead. Oh, there you go. You see, I'm still ahead. So I have 24 minutes in recording time. Hi. 24 minutes. I believe. Yeah. Should be something like that. Anyway. Maybe I only have 12. Let me think now. I started at 12. And then I've got 12 more. Maybe I only have 12 in the can, 12 minutes recorded. My math skills are not the best. Hi. Because the complete lap of this trail is normally around 25 minutes. Yep, so it can't be but I only have 25, I only have 12 recorded. I do have my wind filter on, so 
the arm swing should not be noticeable. But uh, I remember noticing before I mastered the wind abatement techniques that the upswing was almost worse when I was walking because at that stage my arms would be down, outstretched and swinging like sons of bitches. When I'm running I'm have, I have more of a pumping action with my arms bent. Hello. All right. Coming up on Derby. Derby is a street that. Time 26 minutes 54 seconds. Distance 4 kilometers. Workout average pace 6 minutes 43 seconds per kilometer. Yeah. Derby is a street that cuts across the golf course. Basically it's street access to the clubhouse. Pretty soon I will get my halfway to your goal message and I will turn and head back from whence I came. This run should take me all the way back to Fairways Food Market where I will buy some more granola bars for Mavis. Hi. Norma and I both suspect that Mavis suffers from a condition called Munchausen disease. I'm sure Norman and Jim are well aware of this syndrome. It is most prevalent in women and uh, it is attention seeking by either exaggerating or precipitating problems, health problems to get sympathy. I know this is quite a touchy issue, but I am bold enough to address it from the beginning of my episode I was mentioning that Norma is off to Cuba for three weeks. Halfway to your goal. There you go. She has been looking forward to this trip since before the new year. I'm not going to see all the people that I passed coming this way. I will now see them all face on. Hello again. Mm. Hi. That's the nice thing about out and backs. They're very predictable. I'm 
just scanning the route and I think there was only one major climb on the way back so I might find this to be a negative split hello again yeah, Munchausen is named after a German soldier probably from World War I There is a similar condition called Munchausen disease by proxy, which is most often manifested by women once again harming or indeed killing their own children to get the sympathy that they want. Anyway, I'm hopeful that we all survive the next three weeks and that I get over my upset stomach sufficiently for me to race on Saturday next. I'm sorry about the fact that this episode might be a bit of a downer for some of you guys. Time, 33 minutes, 11 seconds, distance, 5 kilometers, workout average pace, 6 minutes, 38 seconds per kilometer. Yeah, 638. So, I still have banked half a minute of time. Did she say six kilometers? Yeah, I think it's six kilometers. It'll tell me in a minute how much ahead or behind I am overall. I saw that girl going the other way just a little while ago. She has a very nice running action <laughs> she's running into the golf course it's this way yeah. <laughs> I think she's a little new to this route. So this steep downhill will take me past the rec center. Mavis is one of the people who was brought up with the old school mentality that cleanliness is next to godliness and uh, even though she has been warned by everybody not to get her bandages wet she still insists on showering every day which means that her leg wound 
is taking much, much longer to heal up than it should. Two minutes, 32 seconds ahead. Okay, so that's another 12 minute block. So now I'm probably up to 24 minutes of recording time. Another 12 minute block. So this morning when I went to see her, hello, once again her leg bandage was sopping wet. We were supposed to be going out for supper tonight to celebrate Mother's Day, but neither she nor I feel very much like eating anything. Back to Finlayson Road. Excuse me for a minute or two. in fact dirt just about to go onto the chip even though I know this is not going to be the most entertaining of shows I as I was saying to my friend Jim that what we're doing here is groundbreaking. Hi. This is life as it is. It is what it is. We're not deceiving anybody here we know that life is not time 39 minutes 18 seconds distance 6 kilometers workout average pace 6 minutes 33 seconds per kilometer life is not always a bed of roses even though some people try and Imagine that it is. Hi. What I was saying to Jim, almost in jest, was that what we're doing here is more like a reality show. Real life in the raw. If I can't race on the sun on the 14th, so be it. It will still help out because I am committed to do that. My friend Alan is arriving tomorrow from Toronto and I'm hoping that between him and I and my son Zaren we can keep our side of the show on the road for the sake of the 60 keen athletes 
that are going to be grouping at the start of the Elk Beaver Ultras 2016. This year the championship, the national, Canadian national championship event will be the 100 kilometer race. It is still not too late to enter. None of the races are at capacity yet. I think we're about just halfway in terms of permitted athletes in the event. I know that the Harriers Club treasurer has had 60 race shirts printed for collection early next week. Plus 20 fleece, excuse me, garments, fleece, hoodies for the chief, the key volunteers. So I know that Alan and I, Bob, Candice, hi and a few other wonderful people who have already volunteered for the race will be receiving with kind thanks from the management. The last little hike and then it's pretty much downhill all the way until I get onto Wend Street or Wend Road. Anyway, I will be wending my way towards Fairways. There is a bit of a hill there, depending on how I'm doing for real time. I will either hike it or not. Alan and I are going to be marking at the course on Friday afternoon. Then we're going to be buying the provisions for the race. And then at five the following morning we will be joining the other athletes at the start. The thing is I am still ahead. We'll hike this hill also. Hello. If I was running at six minute kilometers. The loop plus the to and fro would have been exactly 10k. But because I'm more concerned about the timing of the recording, I decided to make it one hour of running. Kind of makes it a no-brainer for me, which is just what I need at the moment, because my brain has gone to mush once again. My misspent youth kicks back. Hello. There he is. 
the guy that I have mentioned on several occasions who normally runs on Mount Doug. He gave me the old hang loose sign. He recognizes me also as a habitual trainer. Yep, so my week will start tomorrow. I with either a solo I a solo run. Hello. Hi. A solo run. Or a run with Derek. That was kind of Hi. Six forty two seven kilometers. Hi. That guy had his phone in his hand, and as you heard, he had his favorite run keeper lady chatting to him. The reason that I'm using the air mix approach is because I didn't really know what the heck to talk about today, so I figured that if I had absolutely nothing to say At least you would have her talking to you. But instead of that, I have given you a rather detailed and explicit summary of my week, or almost my month from hell. I have managed to ignore these issues on previous podcasts, but basically there is nothing more important in my life right now. Hello. Hi. Hi. The race will happen, whether I compete or not. My mother-in-law will survive or not the next three weeks. Norma will return and life will go on as I run past King's Pond again. So whatever the app tells me for total time I just have to remember to take off 12 minutes and that'll be my recording length as I leave the Cedar Hill Golf Course running is my only true solace at the moment. Everything else seems to be coming off the rails. I hinted at this on my last short submission, which I believe I sent to Kevin for the Extra Mile podcast. I think I called it my head-clearing run. 
because my little head was getting kind of congested with non-running thoughts. another healthy young athlete prancing past me as if I was standing still. Okay, so Monday will be a solo run. Monday night, I go to Victoria Airport and wait for Alan. Then he will drive Norma's car back from the airport where she had left it from the morning. I hope that we have two sets of car keys. Otherwise, this little plan isn't going to work. She insists that she does, so I don't have to go to the airport. 30 in the morning. I will have to go to the airport at around 9.30 in the evening. There he goes, the young bike. He did his out and back. Will he stop for the traffic? Yes, he will. I see you all the time. Yeah, I know, eh? Yeah, normally on Mount Doug. Yeah. Are you racing again, Tim? Uh, a couple of weeks. Not okay. a couple of weeks. I got the Elk Beaver 50k coming up. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Ah, it's really big. Well, I'm giving myself lots of time. Yeah. Well, have a good season. Three minutes less 12. That's 41. I think. No. 53 less 10 would be 43. Yeah, 41. I got it right. 41 minutes. So I've got seven more minutes of recording time as I turn onto Wend Road. I should be fine with this. This should end just about where I wanted it to end. On Garnet. Just outside Fairways supermarket so that young man that I chatted with is about I would say six foot one, probably a hundred and fifty pounds, maybe less. Very, very skinny guy. Twice as wide across the chest as 
he is from front to back, if you know what I mean. More. Four minutes to go. Okay, that's fine. I forgot that I had set my four minute, two minute, one minute, 30 second countdown. Yep, I didn't quite have enough time to ask his name. So, basically, now you know exactly what is going on in the life of this running jackal. I am absolutely looking forward to Sunday, May the 15th. That is the day that I will be liberated of all, other than Mavis, of all my responsibilities and commitments. I will be a free agent for once again. As you can hear, I did not hike up wind. And I'm just about to turn down on... What is it now? In the name of this street. Hi. Topaz. Is it Topaz? No. Garnet. All the streets around here have names of semi-precious and precious gemstones. This one is Garnet. Topaz. Amber. Jet. Diamond. There are all streets around here. Victoria grew very rapidly after World War II and a lot of housing developments and urbanizations happened. And I guess they were stuck for names. As I approach the end of my one hour run, I will shut up and let you hear the final announcement. <laughs>